it's easy to tell that she's touched a lot of people in our community. And I'm sure the impression she leaves on people is rooted in her early desire to be true to herself. When she walked away from an ROTC scholarship to, its, to attend Spelman College, and her ongoing desire to make things better for the people around her, like when she reinvigorated Spelman's LGBT group, Africat. Um, now with the National Black Justice Coalition, Jashana is working on a cause that's dear to me because she's pursuing a similar goal, the Emerging Leaders Initiative, mobilizing African-American LGBT young people to be involved in policy, politics, and public service. Jashana says in her interview with Metro Weekly that she was surprised her work was being seen. I hope that this Next Generation Awards ensures that more people than ever will be watching. Congratulations, and I'm proud to present you the Next Generation Awards. Nervous. Okay. So hello everyone. My name is Jashana Wally. I am currently the Programs and Outreach Associate here in DC at the National Black Justice Coalition, which is an organization dedicated to empowering black LGBT people and is currently my home. And it's a perfect fit for me because since my time at Spelman when I was working with Afrikiti trying to carve out a safe space for the students on Spelman's campus and also on Morehouse campus in Clark Atlanta um, and anybody in the Atlanta area actually to just find a safe haven to be um, and whatever that encompasses whether that means be in the LGBT community be in the LGBT community and be the children of a single parent be in the LGBT community and be in a relationship that you just don't understand, be in the LGBT community and not know how you're gonna pay for tuition next semester. Um, it was about carving out a space for all parts of ourselves and be. So when I was introduced to MBJC, I decided that that's where I wanted to be. <laughs> um, I was never the child to follow a conventional path. It's funny because I find myself in the heart of the political sphere and I always say I'm anti-politics. Um, but working at MBJC tells me and shows me that I don't necessarily have to agree with the dirty politics, but I definitely understand why it's important to understand it and to be engaged and to be involved. So ever since then, my work has always been around just making it relatable, making it personable, and making sure that everyone's voice is heard, everyone's story is understood and taken accounted for. Um, so when I heard about, heard about this award, I was shocked because DC is so big and dense. <laughs> and there's so many people doing crazy, amazing things. Um, and me, the anti-politic one, <laughs> um, up here in the heart of DC accepting this award on behalf of the work that I'm doing simply because I felt like this is what I want to do and I can't see myself doing anything else is very humbling. Um, so thank you Metro Weekly and thank you um, the selection committee and thank you MBJC and I have to thank my mama because if she sees this video and she see that I didn't thank her, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so thank you mommy. <laughs> and thank you Spellman and thank you everyone, Yay! yes, <laughs> and thank you everyone in every space that def wasn't the most comfortable at first but you know ended up molding because I just didn't give up um, so then thank you all for coming but you know I was asked what does this award mean to me and honestly it just means uh, a humbling moment where I take a pause to celebrate and then I get back to work um, so again thank you all for coming and I appreciate this deeply